All right, everybody. BP and I are a little ways from home. We are on an ICF basement dig. MNR excavation will come in behind us and install all that ICF. I'm sure you can tell by the stack of ICF. This is not a small house. We previously to today had a surveyor come up and stake off the actual house. If I remember correctly, there's 18 corners in this house, which is why we had a surveyor stake it off. It, it gets a little involved and tedious and we could have done it with chains and ropes and 100 foot tapes, but for what the uh, surveyors charge, it's well worth the money to ensure that this house is staked off properly. So what they did currently is they come in and they staked off the basement. Michael overdig that. And then once we get it dug, they'll come back up. They'll stake the foundation, the footers. We'll get the foundations erected and poured. They'll come back up a third time and they will stake the actual ICF corners so that the MNR excavation has a, a great pin to go off of. And they've got stations set up over here in the woods. You can't see this one. And then down there, you see the pink flag in the trees. That's another station. So they set all their points off of these two and everything ends up the same. So with all that being said, Mike's gonna hog out the basement with the excavator. I'm gonna run the D4, get all the dirt out of his way. We're gonna try to stage this dirt over here on this right hand side. The reason for that is that driveway is one foot four taller than the actual elevation where the house is going. So we've got to get this thing three foot up out of the ground because there's a great big area here and you got to be able to control the water and we don't want to end up with a great big pond in front of the house. So they'll be able to do a slow grade all the way up to the house, which is why we're going to be three feet out of the ground. So we're actually going to dig eight feet down in most of it. And then the bottom side, there's an actual about a 28 foot section that's going to be a walkout. Mike's going to video the details. I'm going to time lapse the project. So let's get this sucker started.
All right, everybody, it is day two. We got quite a bit of the basement hogged out yesterday. We've got a spool pile there, spool pile there, spool pile all on this left-hand side for the left-hand side of the house. As you guys will see on DP's channel, this house has a lot of bump outs and notches and corners. It is definitely a far cry from square. We've got the laser reset up this morning. We did have it down here in the basement yesterday. Moved it outside the hole today. All of this is within a half inch. And then we will get the D4 down in here and we will fine tune this sucker all the way around, clean up those little bit of fluffy corners and things like that. Uh, we didn't bring the skid steer for this job. So we'll do all that with the D4. That'll work out just fine. We're gonna finish hogging out this basement today. Get it completely done. Hopefully get at least one piece of equipment hauled out of here today. I'm gonna put you guys on time lapse. Let's get this thing going.
All right, everybody, we got her knocked out. <clears throat> We've got the equipment loaded up. Mike just got done fine tuning these outside edges with the D4. Came out really nicely. I tell you, this is some good dirt. If this customer here ever wants to build a, a pond or a lake down here right below his house, as long as we have enough dirt, this is some really good dirt. I tell you, it's, it's real nice. The, uh, the basement came out really nicely. The ICF crew will come in, stack out the stack out, put in the footers, form a drain footers, and then they'll stack out the ICF. And this portion here is actually walkout, and there's a little porch that comes out right here, a deck that's over top of it. This will be a two level ICF house over on this side you guys can kind of see the bump outs and all the corners there and then this corner of the house here comes over kicks back in again and then runs over so there's a lot of uh a lot of features to this house but we've got the icf crew a nice road coming in on this side there's a stump in the way over here but they can still get down basically to that bottom corner it's a little bit more difficult over there this side here they've got a nice entrance where they can come in bring rock in get a skid steer down in here to pack rock on the inside we've got three spoil piles one two and then a third one over there behind mike you can't tell it but that hillside dives off pretty good and right there behind that sycamore tree which has the orange leaves that one mike and i'll actually come back and install a four bedroom split presby system for this home but the dirt it's just too wet this house isn't going to be finished by next spring anyway construction of homes take a little bit longer than that so we'll be back next spring slash early summer to put in the septic system as for now that's the end of this one as always like comment subscribe